All right, boys, today we have a Nissan BCM. This is from a 2018 Nissan 370Z. Uh, the old BCM has some sort of issue. Customer didn't state we're cloning the old one to the used one here. This is the original. We got our Autel 508 and the XP400 Pro uh, with the APA 109 uh, harness. We got it soldered up. We're gonna go through and see if we can read the EEPROM and the flash off of this. So we're gonna go to Programmer, Accept, Read and write. Immobilizer. Nissan. It is the XDT three eight four RW. Uh, how I know what that is? You should be able to see it right there. MC9S12XDT384VAL. So, hit that one. Okay. EEPROM. First things first, we go in, make sure that we're verification is all on. Okay, escape, connection diagram, this is the one I used right here, get out of that. So we are in the EEPROM right now. Read ID. Make sure we got a good connection. Everything read good. So it looks like we're connected correctly. Go to read. Remember we have those verifications on, so it read it once, then read it again to make sure that we got a good read. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. Save. Okay. Back out of that. Go to the flash. Read that. Looks like that read properly. Save that.
Okay, now that we've read that, I'm gonna switch over to our clone and we'll be right back. Ephraim, read ID, make sure we got a good connection. Looks good. We'll go ahead and read that one. Looks like it read it right. We'll go ahead and save that one as clone. Just so we have it, just in case. Invalid name. Hmm. Right or wrong. I had a space at the end. Okay. Escape. Go to the flash. Go ahead and read that one also. We'll save that one just in case. Looks like that one read like it was supposed to. We'll go ahead and save that one also. We'll just name that one clone. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's write the flash. Here's our flash from our original. Hit OK. And since we have those verifications on, it's going to erase it. Oh, uh oh. Good. Oh, I see what happened. <clears throat> Actually, see the blue wire, guys? Came unsoldered. I will solder that back on and we'll go from there. Hopefully, nothing too horrible happened. Alright, I soldered that back on. Let's read the ID. We have a good connection again. Let's go to right. Select our flash. Now, hopefully this time it will erase write, then reread and verify everything for us. Our 
flash was written successfully. So now we're going to go back and we're going to write the EEPROM. All right. Select our EEPROM. Do OK. This one will go a lot quicker. Flash it. Now it should be going to reread it, which it is, and written successfully. So that is the whole process to cloning your 370Z body control module. Uh, I believe these also came in the Infinity Q35.